where there's smoke, there's bombs. We have a gig. You need to retrieve a car. At the moment, a 6-3 car. See the attachment for more on the wheels. And its owner. Why is it some unwritten law of the world that every talented turkey has poor character? Only God knows. Jake Estevez is one such genius among techies, and is a jerk among jerks. Fifteen minutes with the man and my barrel against his forehead, but good news is we found a way to get along. Jake's been a grease monkey for 6th Street about two weeks now. Of course, I'm not on good terms with the 6th Street gang, but I do grudgingly admire their patience. It is, after all, a virtue. Over that time, Jake's been doing a custom job in a car for them. His life's work, he said. Designed a soft for it, too. Remember I said he has poor character? Yeah, well, he pissed off the wrong people in the 6th Street gang and had a Delta and never looked back. Bottom line, Jake wants his precious car back. Go to the 6th Street gang auto shop, upload the virus I sent you, and get it back for him. Don't scratch the ride and you'll get extra. We'll both be flush sharks. I don't know if it actually matters if you scratch the ride or not. It doesn't appear to have an optional objective. The guy doesn't seem to say anything extra when you bring it to him. Got that adrenaline pumping! Really? Don't seem like anybody actually noticed. But still, that's that's ridiculous. I hurt myself landing on her. He said this baby's untraceable. Whole thing's basically swapped out, part for part. Jake, man, was supposed to let you know my wheels are rolling good now. Kudos, mate. I've taken a look at injection angle and pressure and think there might still be some room for tweaks. But I know you know your cars like no one else. That soft you installed for the Reeve limiter. First rate, seriously. Cheers, Mark. Hey, Jake. I have another request. Just like last year. Using a company car again, I want you to slip in that soft. You know, to disable the tracker, help me disappear after working hours, and remove fuel limits. Can you help me out here? Heard you got a new place. That change anything, price-wise? For now, I'll flick over the same you charged last time. I'll toss in a beer sometime on me. Thanks, my dude. Big thanks, my dude. Tino Z. Please talk to me. What am I supposed to do? You know when this comes out, Jake is dead. They might even make you kill him. Please, Seb. I promised this last time, but Joachim can't find out about it. Can you do it for me, like old times? I'm going to install the software, and you won't be able to use this anymore. Uh, if you want to check the message, you need to do that beforehand. Way too bright, but whatever.
I guess this doesn't count. <laughs> like, there we go. You really saved my ass. I can't thank you enough. What about the ride? You gonna fence it? Well, I have to sooner or later. Know a guy in Sacramento, a collector? He'll set me up for life. Oh, but for now, I'm taking her with me. Spruce her up a little more. Wouldn't stick around too long if I were you. Sixth Street are gonna be searching high and low for this beauty. I'm leaving town today. It's like Uncle Estevez always said. If you gotta choose between your ride and saving someone else's ass, always choose the ride. At least you know that a ride's never gonna betray you. People, on the other hand, this card doesn't seem very special, but whatever. Fortunately, that maybe maybe a later gig will appear where I can interact with uh, Estevez, but I feel like I should be able to buy this car. Excellent. The car has reached its owner. Now the money will reach you. Good deeds are always repaid in kind. Closing the contract. Until next time. All right, we're right next to the side job, like I mentioned. A bit north of us. Great, just great. No. Now it's to the west. I don't know why it's not marked on my map, but whatever. Oh, I think it's in here, in the in the bar. Hey, you! Sitting in the wrong spot. Uh, this... this isn't the bar? It is. But it's our bar. Get up! Let's take a walk. Hey, leave him alone, cabrones. Hey, back off! You're busy. You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. You fuck off, or I implant my blade in your ribs. Just try, Gunk. Come on, let's see what you got. Well, you just got real fucking interesting. And he just kicked in. What just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I, I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? You would have caught a beating. This fucking town, these people? Just here, minding my own business. If it weren't for you, I'd... Here. For your trouble. The rest, uh, bartender got the rest. Circling him like sharks on a scent of fresh corpo blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in me. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you then? On the house. Not this time, but thanks. Don't drink on the clock. Huh? I get it. Respect that. Long day? Could say that again. I'm on a double. No break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know? Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you, V? Pay solid. Run me through it. It's about my wife, Red. Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or I could get someone like you. Ain't no more than an evening's work. Why do you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gunk question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. 
breaking up a happy marriage. Sure she's cheating on you? Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night, she wasn't even there. Size that? Well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. it used to be easy to check these things, but with today's tech, there is a way around every test now. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like a goddamn tire fire. Like half this city. Wait. But today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh, she had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Okay, fine, I'm in. You're my hero, V. Means a lot to me. C.D. Barr's betrayal of beguiling woman sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story, an unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. You about done? I'm trying to focus. I arrived on the scene, looking for the woman in the pink jacket. The woman with a sordid past. Stop right there. It was her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I followed her. Dreaming of the day the narrator put a fucking plug in it. Alright, so this quest you can resolve in a couple of different ways. Um, whether you make it a satisfactory ending or not, you still get the same reward. So, you might not be Pepe's best friend. The woman looked around. Something weighed on her. Maybe it was my gaze. Keep this up, I'm gonna fucking puke. Narrate that. Passes a bum, gives him a wide berth, doesn't want her clothes dirty. Her conscience is already dirty enough. Oh, seriously, what did I ever do to you? Got too close. Almost scared the dame off. Better be careful. I know, I know.
The dame disappeared into the guts of a building ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. <sighs> Maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. sure nobody followed you. All right, if you say it doesn't matter, I've seen enough. It ends the mission here. Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See, he was right. Wait. No! It's it's not like that. I I can explain. And if you pick the second option here again, it ends the mission. Though I do think she needs to talk to her husband. Go on then, let's hear it. Okay, for, for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper. A specialist in plastic surgery. Specialist? In this dump? Look, I know. I I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a sec. What about your kid? Here's the thing. I... Oh. I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father, just that I... I don't look anything like the old me. Well, uh, plot's thicker than I imagined, for sure. I'm glad you listened. Saw it from my point of view. I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but there was never a good time, and... And now that I'm expecting again, it, oh, it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't planned. Please, uh, tell him, tell him that. Yes. I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself. That, that I'm really sorry. That life's an absurdist drama. Okay, just, just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. Job's done. Followed your wife, went into some run-down pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least not in the way you think. Huh? What way, then? She was out of rippers, getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes. It's all implanted. Every single last part of her. So... My son. That's why he... Exactly. Jesus fucking Cristo. How could you keep this from me? Our own husband, ten fucking years. It's not about the skin or whatever. It's that she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now? With the previous dialogue option, picking the bottom one gets you a bad ending. Same thing here for Not My Problem. You can either pick the top two here for a satisfactory ending. This is probably the best one right here. She loves you, you don't. Okay, yes, Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but the woman loves you, you gonk. You know how much that means in this fucking town? If I were you, I'd just live and let live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway, thanks. This is for you. For your troubles. Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, muffling its cries. Time to rest, I thought. Time to drink. See, that's more like it. Finally making some sense. Next up. We're gonna head towards this side job.
Vital signs, none. Cause of death, unknown. Identity, no records found. So I can I can find if a person has like an NCPD bounty on them, but I, I can't find this one dude. Really? Whatever. Warning, suspected murder. Leave the area to avoid becoming an NCPD suspect. Well, that doesn't actually happen as far as I know. This just happens to be a quest that I will not likely to complete in a normal playthrough of this pacifist run. Because it does require killing to make it happen, and I'm okay with not finishing, uh, not not killing people. So it, it means I get to keep the gun forever, if nothing else. So, all right. So this is Skippy. It's known. It's it's considered one of the best guns in the game, because it says it scales to the user's level, but it will never get as many mod slots as the legendary. New fingerprints detected. The fuck? Increasing volume by thirty-three percent. New fingerprints detected. What? What the hell are you? User inquiry. Technical specifications. HJKE11 smart gun with built-in AI. Experimental model. Name. Skippy. <laughs> Skippy. Seriously. Increasing volume by 66%. Name. I'm not deaf. Understood. Hearing within norm. Possible issue. Low IQ. Reducing speech rate by 33%. My name is Skippy. No, it's just... Oh, never mind. Guy by the dumpster. That's your owner? Checking memory. Resources available. 100%. All files removed manually. Possible cause. Theft. Original owner. No data. Suggested solution. None. I got one. I'll take you. Processing request. No objections found. Can I change your name? No. Why not? Considering I'm your new owner. Increasing volume by 300%. No! Administrator rights are needed to complete that action. You do not have the required permissions. You still got all your functions. Running system diagnostics. Testing will take approximately 47 seconds. Bum, bum, be dumb, bum, what, bum, be dumb. What are you bum. doing? I'm making the wait more pleasant with a soothing melody. Bum, bum, be dumb, bum, bum, be dumb, bum. Test successfully completed. The program Skippy version 0.01 .01 Alpha is running correctly. All right, so what can you do, besides talk my ear off? Primary feature, automated targeting. In case of critical threat to user, autonomous shooting capabilities. Please choose one of two operating modes. First mode, puppy loving pacifist. I will aim at the enemy's lower extremities. Second mode, stone cold killer. I will aim exclusively at the head. Um. Well, guess I'll go with puppy loving pacifist. She sounds so confident. Adjusting settings. Bum bum be dum bum bum be dum bum. Ugh. Selected mode. Puppy loving pacifist. Enjoy permanently crippling your enemies. Thank you, I will. The next mission is right over here. transgression against God and his people, disturbing the dead from their eternal rest. The deceased's name is Jim Grayer. He smuggled unstable shards by slotting them inside his head. Sadly, during his last transit, things went sideways. A demon got out of its cage and barbecued his brain. Jim Grayer ended up in the La Katrina funeral home along with my client's shard. Go to La Katrina, find Grayer's body, and get that shard before it's burnt to cinders. FYI, the crematorium's cozy with the Valentinos. That's where they get rid of their bodies. One wrong move, and you'll end up there too. Yes? Can I help you? How's it going? 
Hey, you got any special offers? Depends. You want to cremate somebody? Or make a purchase for yourself? Don't you think it's a little too soon for me? Always better to be insured. If you pay now, you can get a 50% discount with our latest cremation salvation package. Come on now. That's just too good to be true. But it is true. The details are in our complimentary information booklet. I'm a member of the Grayer family. I'd like to see the body. I'm afraid that won't be possible. Access to the morgue is employee restricted. What the hell? How rude! Normally he's saying something at this time. Alberto there. was an exceptional man. Exceptional. In hard times, he was stoic and humble. And in good times, his smile lit up the world. Today, we say our goodbyes. But we say them lightly, for we know we will meet again in the house of our Lord. Hey. What's up with these doors? Nothing. Long as you're not fucking with them. No respect for the dead. You're right. I'm just gonna do this now. What? What in God's name? <laughs> Dad? Daddy? Someone turn it off! Open exit route here, at least. Doesn't seem to think of me as a threat, so I guess this is fine. She's guarding the stairs right now and the, and the exit. But there's more than one way to get there. Bodies all fucking day long. What a life. Don't complain. You're lucky to even be alive. Doesn't seem to think I'm a threat here either. Who the hell's fucking around now? Jim Grayer, demon infected shark. Fan of running to the drop point. I don't think that really adds anything to the game. You're an angel sent from heaven, B. The demon possessed shards on its way to the client, just like your money's on its way to you. Closing the contract. All right, next thing we're going to do, we are going to head this direction. We're going to skip this one because that seems that's a, a side mission. That's like a, probably a mission chain. Um, I've heard a little bit about that. People don't like having to... When they start this, do you get contacted to do all these cars? But since when I do that one, I'll be focusing just on the cars. it would be a completely different experience for me. Since I'm doing things one at a time. Uh, so we'll do this one, skip that, do this one, run back over here, do this, and that'll actually get you the achievement for this region here. Even though I still have the beat on the brat and this, I've already unlocked the achievement just by following it this way. Uh, I mean, like, it's not like I'm following a guide or anything. I've, this is the way I did it in my playthrough, and I'm kind of just retracing my steps now with, with, with it, with the cameras rolling. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
Now, there is a perk that allows you not to get knocked and got, or knocked down, um, but supposedly if you get that perk, when a car hits you, you will just instantly die. I'm kind of curious about that. I have instantly died when a car got stuck against the wall, and I tried to jump over the car, and it, I just instantly died from that. So I, I can totally believe it. Here we are anyways. Good day, V. There is a man who must be justice. This is a personal matter. I'll pay extra. More info attached. I'm counting on you, V. There's a time for forgiveness and a time for revenge. There's a time for turning the other cheek. And a time for crushing your enemies like the roaches they are. In the words of the prophet Jeremiah, cursed is he who keeps their sword from bloodshed. The man you're to eliminate is Karubu Borea. He's an old timer, but don't let appearances fool you. He used to be a solo. He killed my friends. People were like brothers and sisters to me. But all hell broke loose of nights and he fled to the East Coast. Now he's back, probably thinking everyone forgot about him. But not me. Grubo runs a filthy die that serves as a Valentino's hangout. Go there and show him that nobody can avoid the hand of justice. And try not to make a scene, okay? Be professional. No unnecessary attention. Alright, when you complete this mission, this whole bar is shut down anyway. It's not that you can even interact with the bar. Let's go ahead and take a look. It's totally unnecessary to come in from this side. Por qué chingados metes las pinches narices donde no te llaman? Viku, what's shaking, brother? Why the long face play? Yeah, there's never really nothing you can do while you're in here. You just got the restrooms over here, an office over there. There's really nothing big. The only reason I walked in was just to just, uh, show a little bit more of the mission because the way I'm going to solve the mission just pretty much makes this whole thing very, very simple and very, very quick. We're going to just technical ability this door. We're going to whistle him out of there. This Karubu, in case you hadn't figured it out, <laughs> who's basically a hitman. And then my car vaporizes because it wants to make room for this. <laughs> I already see Karubo in the fiery jaws of hell. I hear his piercing screams. I smell the sinner's burning flesh. In other words, my heart is full of joy. Contract closed. Go with God. You now, out of all the fixers we've met so far, Padre seems to be the most bloodthirsty of everyone. All right, next up, we're going to head to this side job here. And you will know I am the Lord when I lay my, and you will know I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon you. On greater reflection, I felt you deserve a bonus for the job you did. Find it at the nearest drop point and go with God. The next mission is just next door. Almost as if the whole thing has been planned. It's right here. This is a Padre mission. This is not a Padre mission. It's a Dino mission, which is the next fixer. Force, you can just rip this door open and start combat right away. 
Remember, the Valentinos are not nice people, so just keep that in mind. Uh, they they go around randomly killing people for fun, for giggles. So, uh, j because that's what, the, as you wander Night City, they are the mod that's that's destroying lives, innocent lives here. So bear that in mind as, as Gustavo tells you his sob story later. All right, so let's go ahead and read this dialogue. The world is built on certain rules. Rules that don't appear out of nothing, which grew from the blood and mistakes of our predecessors. These rules are meant to protect us, but the young disregard them. They believe they are special, that they are not held to the same rules, that fate is theirs to tempt. Martha Frakes believed the same and now sleeps in a coma after taking a bullet to the head. The streets tell me that this is punishment for abandoning her family. The girl turned from her own father, Nolan Frakes, to side with the enemy, Gustavo Huerta. What the street says doesn't matter. Not to Nolan. He believes Gustavo is solely responsible for what happened to his daughter. Let's fulfill the wish of a father desperate for revenge. He's paying after all. Go to Gustavo's apartment. Deal with him. Don't worry about authorization. My netrunner made sure you don't run into any problems. And FYI, if you hadn't caught on yet, Gustavo is Valentino's. Nolan is 6th Street. Stay sharp. Alright, on my sixth attempt, or my, my, my second attempt here, uh, my family came home in the middle of it, and I had actually discovered that I could you did I could do a distract enemies with this. I was actually trying to ping just to show off that the guy is actually right here in front of in front of the device. That's so kind of it's kind of interesting. I'm trying to, I'm still trying to ping him, but you can see him on the top right. Gotta see Gustavo. Who? Oh, think you got the wrong address? There, here we go. Oh, almost at him. It doesn't matter. Anyone there? Answer me. So really, he decides he, he's gonna come out and. uh... Are you Gustavo? Nope. Okay. <laughs> We're not running a fucking charity, mano. Let's panic, more cut. Achilles tendon is the big one about the heel. Maybe that'll teach that idiot that to pay it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in there because that has never happened before. And <laughs> we'll meet back when I get to the top. Alright, so if you need more proof that these are not nice people. Because we're not running a fucking charity, mano. Let's panic, more cut. Achilles tendon is the big one, above the heel. Maybe that'll teach that idiota to pay his debts on time. And if it doesn't, then he won't be running away that easy. Yeah, so as you can see, they are... We, you're, we're not doing anybody any favors by letting them run free on the streets. We have a 7 eight BD. I think I pinged the body behind him. Good night. sees any bodies. Frakes sent me. 
Fuck. I guess I could have seen that coming. Loving father of hers? The one she ran away from? Can't even let it go now. Asshole doesn't even know what went down. Alright, what happened? Guns from 6th Street happened. Fucking ambush. We're coming back from a party with Chichex. Pretty smashed. They got us down on Berkeley Avenue. I mean, I was fast, but... They shot faster. Trying to zero me? Got Martha. End of story. You here to do me too, huh? Do it! Just shoot straight this time, eh? Don't hit no more innocent bystanders. Yeah, he acts like he's all innocent and everything, but I have seen the number of sheer bodies that the Valentinos have laid out. Um, now that being said, I'm positive he loves Martha. Your lips ain't moving. But that doesn't excuse what he does now and what he will do if he let him go. Sixth Street, why'd they want to wipe you? I don't know, can't fucking stand Tinos? Or maybe someone's got a beef with me, eh? Big enough that he's got to hire extra iron? Nolan? Come on. Wouldn't risk his little girl's life for you. Martha wasn't supposed to be there. And 6th Street, huh? Knew I was headed that way. She was like a firing squad. So you tell me what happened. I tell you. I'll, t I'll tell you. You love Martha, but not enough to leave a life of crime. You are going to keep leading your life of crime. You're going to keep getting people hurt. It's time to understand that there are consequences. And when you take them down, people will immediately spawn. And Skippy will shoot them in the legs. So with my power legs, I can actually just jump this. So I'll, go, I'll, I'll be I'll get right back up here Apparently I can't get through that door even though I already made the enemy walk through it before That's right. I might as well just jump the I Don't know what it's actually called. I call it a power legs power jump whatever this, if you load, you can maybe get this to be an orange burya. I don't care, but I'll go to grab it anyways. Let's go ahead and read this guy's emails. Alright, so we, here this just says that the car was really, really wrecked, and they fixed it. And then it says here that they, they're worried that someone might actually go for Martha. Cereza, it's quick work. The hospital. You know which. I need 24-hour surveillance, and I need it now. In case some mess, some, in case someone from Sixth Street tries to get in M's room, one of the nurses is my cuz. Jose, he'll take you through through to the kitchen. And that's probably secure type, but that's part up to you, Senior Chair Jock. Love Gustavo. And this is a picture, probably what I what is supposed to be, I assume, a live feed of Martha. So yeah, I'm I'm sure he loves her, and I'm sure that this is is mean to her. But again, he's a Valentino, and imagine how many how many how many good lives have been lost because of what they do. So yeah, we're, we're taking them in. Got a shard from him, and that's right here. Gustavo. So he called he called Karubo to to kill people. Um, uh, this 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 is Karubo, the guy we just dealt with at, on the old friends mission. There's a problem. Hmm. Heard what happened. Those people from six. What about them? You must find them and thank them for me. I pay well. Why well, ask me? Can't drag my people into this. And I hear you used to have a talent for giving thanks. Not wrong, am I? No, it's true. Used to is right. Testing the waters. Fine, I'll double the pay. Double of zero is still zero. We're gonna start a private war with Sixth Street. You ask the wrong man. Alright, let's get him out of here. I would like to hear people debate with each other, politely. I don't know if that's such a thing that'll ever happen, but what they feel is the most ethical solution to this problem. You can't put strings on this. You can let Gustavo attempt to flee Night City, but that also means he's absolved of all other crimes. I'd be curious to see what people had to say. Another 
the sinner finds himself in the place he belongs. A drunk. Gustavo now suffers the purgatory he deserves. And perhaps as a moment to examine his conscience. Let's hope he finds it before the drunk opens back up. This concludes our contract. Now we're going to head to this side job. And this is going to be a far departure from what V normally does, but her motives are still the same. We try to stand up for what's right, even if it doesn't mean I'm always on the same side. Now, you can only find out the big truth if... Take this, you corporal bastard! If you're a street kid. But I already know the truth, and I, this, I would still pick this as my, as my solution. Fuck you looking at! Nothing to see here! Move along! So, these cops here are beating this guy to death. Let's go ahead and get their names and badges. Take it easy, or you'll kill him. Yeah? And? He your brother or something? The fuck you care? Keep walking before you end up like him. Leave him alone. See this badge? That means I can do whatever the fuck I want. Peace bullets. These guys are still alive. You can see by the red reticle. Let's go ahead and take their guns. They certainly won't be needing them now. And what's going on here, and he won't tell you the truth, which I don't have enough reflexes points for right now for, but... But he is a brain dance seller, and I think he sold some spiked brain dances, whatever that means. And so a friend of the cop's daughter, um, a friend of this cop, he has a daughter, who, I guess, went into a coma as a result of these bad brain dances. That being said, I, I, again, I don't think they should... At the very least, I'm keeping them from staining their hands. Rise and shine, Corpo Swine. <coughs> oh, fuck. <coughs> uh, uh, <coughs> Shit. <coughs> well, if it wasn't for you, I'd be... Well, thank you. Were you sent by the company? Wrong answer. Then hold on. What do you want from me? Nothing. I I don't I don't believe you. You saved me just like that because you felt like it? Don't measure others by your own yardstick, prick. And yeah, every time I see a, a crime on my normal playthrough, I immediately stop and try to rescue everybody. I actually load until everybody is alive. Even if it's like two gangs of eight on eight or whatever, I will run in, flashbang, shoot everybody down until everybody makes it out alive. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I don't think there's going to be like a tally at the end of the game, but that's just my style. We're going to go ahead and hit this next. But I'm going to go ahead and select that as my next waypoint marker. Radico hasn't loaded yet because I arrived here before the game's finished loading. God grant me the base to track down that puta. Calling all NCPD subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported like. on Martin Luther King Boulevard. Ah. Members of the Valentinos engaged in smuggling and trafficking operations. Group is led by Miguel Rodriguez, aka Gizmo. Priors include second degree murder and drug trafficking. City put out a reward for neutralizing the threat. They 
Mission complete. Next up, we were heading to this thievery mission. Oh, hi, it's, uh, Cynthia, Pepe's wife. Remember me? Uh-huh, I do. I don't know what you told him, but thanks. Thank you so much. All right, the footage for the next mission was lost, so I'm just redoing it. So my stats or, or the game time, it's all different, but that's a lie. I'm not going to wait until 732, which is when, when I had to do the last cut. There's a peaceful solution to this, and that's just to confront the guy head on. This isn't your run-of-the-mill gig. Client this time is me. You know the H1 Meg building in the Glen? City within a city, crumbling tower of concrete and faulty wiring. And it hasn't already collapses thanks to a guy named El Gallo. Brilliant techie he was. As tits. It's the same old story. El Gallo's got a drug problem. Big one. He's completely lost touch with reality goes from one score of sin coke to another. Needless to say, he's in no state to repair any creaky doors. But for some reason, he got it to do his head that everything will get better if he could just get his hands on some scandium rods. So he stole them from a corporal warehouse. These rods are rare part. Rare and very expensive. I wouldn't want to see them go to waste. Go to H1, ask his code's already been taken care of, and get them from El Gallo before that junkie pawns them. I don't care how you do it, so long as it gets done. Wouldn't go in there if I were you. Gallo, he's... he's lost it up there, you know? There's two crafting shards you can pick up here. Or we're just gonna take the rods. Hmm. Fuck you, Mark, huh? That's the one I ask you a fucking question. Heard you have scandium rods. My client needs them. Oh yeah? What about me? I don't need them? This whole goddamn building's going to shit. All of it. Pipes, power. Every other day the elevator jams. That motherfucking elevator. How the fuck am I supposed to fix it if I ain't got no rods, eh? Your client even consider that? The fuck you say to you? This elevator, is it wired or pumped? What? Well, motor's electric with a speed reducer. Sounds like a non-conductive hitch. Insulation in the cables must have worn out and short circuit Open and shut case. The fuck? <laughs> you from maintenance or something? Nope, third party sent me. He really wants those rods, Guile. And here's the thing. You'll manage without them. Over there, take them. And then fuck off! It's about to explode. I was waiting for the mission objective to change. Not that it makes a difference. But yeah, crafting uh, crafting skill is extremely easy to raise. You just have to disassemble everything you come across. I 
are the roads, which makes me a happy man. And that is rare, V. Rarer than the rain on the Egyptian desert of which Moses wandered. But I digress. The contract is closed. Payment on its way. That'll be it for this episode. Thank you very much for Tran wins Cyberpunk 2077. See you next time. Also, that was a lot of money just for that mission. I guess those Scandian rods are very valuable.